The realagriculture.com canola school is brought to you by Syngenta Crop Protection Canada. Okay, Derwin, let's talk about the importance of seeding speed. Uh, it's really, really important that uh, sometimes seeding is not a race. It's more of a, maybe more patient. Uh, how important is seeding speed? Well, uh, seeding speed is definitely one key factor. It's something that we can manage in our seeding operation. Uh, the way I approach seeding speed, um, it's a question of uh, take part, part of slowing down at seeding for me is taking the time to uh, stop the outfit and go back and check in areas of the field where you are traveling at the speed you intend to travel and having a look to see are you achieving that seed placement that you were shooting for if you're going uh, if you're finding seed that's very shallow in the soil and then other seed that's quite deep you know two inches or so deep that's that variability is a sign that you're getting a lot of equipment bounce and obviously uh, that's uh, an issue that suggests that maybe you do need to slow down a little bit. Um, when we look across Western Canada, is there sort of a, an ideal range of speed that we can think about? Um, often get asked what the ideal speed is and there is no one ideal speed. It varies a lot depending on your soil texture, the amount of residue that you're dealing with, as well as the equipment that you're working with and, and uh, both uh, the equipment, uh, the style of opener, and uh, what condition those openers are in. Um, are you, uh, for instance, side banding where you need to worry about the placement of both that fertilizer and seed band and maintaining that separation? Those kind of issues all affect what the ideal speed is. Um, typically though, for the most part, in some of our demonstrations we've done with growers, we found that you know, even getting up to five miles an hour versus something slower in that three and four, we already start to see some differences. In other cases, you have to get up to more than that six or seven mile an hour before you see any significant impact on, on the depths of emergence in that placement. So if we're going too fast, we can have, uh, it'll affect our seating depth. And if it's affecting our seating depth, it's affecting emergence. And if it's affecting emergence, it's, it's having some sort of impact on yield. Yeah, the key issue with, uh, Depth uh, obviously is very important. It's uh, one of uh, it's. I look at it as a manageable stress. Um, we've got good data that shows that uh, the difference between a half an inch seeding depth and an inch and a half uh, probably cuts your your emergence rate almost in half. So it's a pretty significant impact. Uh, with the seeding speed, it's more about the variability that you get. So uh, it can have a negative impact on the total plant population, but the other thing it's really going to affect is the rate at which those different seeds emerge. The ones coming from the surface may come very quickly, the ones from two inches much later, and that uh, variability in maturity just complicates your management right throughout the rest of the season, right through into uh, potentially judging you know, when to swath and, and uh, harvest management. Kay Derwin, thank you very much for joining us today.